I get you, guess what? My bag was nine pounds overweight. Whoa. But I make it work. I'll be safe, me can get you now. Hold on, I go check in. Not checking, go to security. Guys, I'm on my way and I'm dying. I'm literally dying because it took me 15 minutes to just get everything back in my bag, my personal bag. And God forbid, the way my day are sneaky with extra bag, extra bag. Catch me again. The airport is locked and Katie wanted me to get her some alcohol, rum cream. But I've never been to Kingston Airport at night. At least I've never checked in, flown out of Kingston Airport at night. So it's interesting. You want see, I'm so glad I wore this cargo pants. By the way, this cargo pants is from Shein and it's in my Shein haul. So I'll leave it up here and I'll leave it in the description box for you to check out. But the pockets are big enough to fit my drone. And they're also big enough to fit the drone controller and the other pocket along with my phone. Oh God, I'm so tired. How to get this? Hold on, I don't see a gate number. Good morning, B squad. So, I have to fill you in a lot. In a lot. I just finished this video. I'm gonna try to upload this video like right now because I have to get ready and hit the road, which I'll be bringing you along with me today. But I was just doing this, right? <clears throat> you remember when you were young and you just couldn't get it? Like, okay, we can't get it now, but you just, uh, I just did that and you couldn't get it comes with A's comes with A's <laughs> so that's to say things that you might not be able to get right now you will eventually get it will come with ease just like that like second nature so don't stress yourself out if something is not going how you want it to go just go with the flow and eventually you will get it and that's my message thanks for coming to my TED talk on the road warm weather fits New York what is this truck doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Go! Wow. Yeah, warm weather fits New York City. Like, winter is not a New York thing. It's just not cute. Um. <laughs>
nobody love you like I do And can't nobody hate you like me too Always turning nothing into something I do When it's always you we are done for the day so now we're gonna get back we walked for well over an hour so we're gonna go back and get ready freshen up we're running behind time but we're gonna go to dinner continuation of the couple days in my life so if I'm correct this is technically day three because as you if you recall I landed Sunday morning in New York City then so, well Sunday was a lot I didn't get to record much of Sunday and then Monday was yesterday which was a lot and now today which we're going to the edge and we're just gonna walk around Manhattan I believe Ariella has her flight tonight in New Jersey so I might drive over with Katie to New Jersey to drop her well I definitely will drive over to New Jersey to drop her off but I'm at Katie's house now so I will see you guys when we head out bye and Harlem and the Upper East Side are separated by less than 100 feet so you see how how unkept it is how dirty it is how unsafe this even is mm -hmm. right you saw there was a school on the corner mm -hmm. there's kids crossing the street you'll see no one right the minute you cross 96th Street, it's like um, it's three roads. There's traffic cops. There's turning lanes, and you will not see not a thing on the ground. Like it's crazy. Like look, there's not even this block. Oh, like how? There's you passing all these like it's this is it's houses or projects, whatever the case might be. This is how they solve for the kids getting hit and run by cars, right? Yeah. The speed bump. Where's the parking attendants? Where is it? But you see, as you're getting closer to the Upper East Side, how it's getting nicer. Yeah. She's getting cleaner. And the minute you cross 96th Street, you have the, the parking attendant people, the traffic cop people. You have three lanes, and you have turning lights. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just ran the stop sign, but still. Go, go faster. <laughs> like he ran the stop sign, but still, like th that would not happen down there. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy. And, and even with the buildings too. Even with the buildings. I like that in LA too though. Exactly like, like that. It's the Everything you just described. Exactly. And it, like you said, hundred, couple hundred feet away. I mean, couple hundred feet away, you have Skid Row, all the homeless. Two hundred feet later, you have people paying three thousand dollars for a loft. These people are paying five thousand dollars for a one bedroom apartment. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it always just like blows my mind. Well, we're at 97. See, 97 mm -hmm. Right? It looks a little better. You actually have proper greenery. Do you see? 96th Street, a whole new, whole new place. Mm -hmm. There's this is it, right? There's no way. You see it school like markings on the ground. Yeah. We just passed in front of a school and there was not a single marker. Yeah. It's wild. That's true. And like you said, the three lanes. Mm -hmm. 
Like in the when I used to work okay. there, you would see them come and park and, and root in, you know, like literally. School buses. Like there's none of that. I mean, granted, this is the fence, but you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the rest is alone. What do you guys think? Drop a comment oh. down below and let me know. It's wild. You see how clean it is? Mm, people walking. Uh, it's it's disgusting to me. Yeah, Ariella, just remember our content. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you guys are reading it? Show us outside. I wonder how high we are. It probably said that somewhere. Oh, guys, this is cool. Guys, they have this tree here and everybody's taking pictures by it and it's just looking really pretty. Back to the cantina from last night because we don't really know of anywhere. Okay, we'll be back then. So, I didn't even think it was cool. Thank you. Oh, no, we're here. Oh, 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 oh. 